Paul was the other just laid off the bread of the few more, the precious gift of the mysteries of the mother of God, and leads us. He was inspired for the book of growth of their personalities. They have chosen to respond to the being extended beyond what may be normally expected of your servants. Yet, you ask, and the sisters responded with an unconditional yes. So we give thanks to the mission of the Lord God who has served with the doctor these past 50 years. They have inspired many to greater heights in love and service of you and your holy church. They serve with joy and without complaint. You, Lord, have provided their example for us to imitate in our daily life. Your reward for the Blessed Mother has warmly embraced the mystery of the Mother of God, finding them very closer to you, Jesus Christ. Bless them the ways only you can, providing them their good health, much contentment in their ministry, joy and happiness in all that they do. May you always continue to hear their petitions of prayer. May you ever so responsive to their present need, presenting needs for themselves and for others they endeavor to serve. Your grace with you all, Stefan, Father Joseph, our reverend fathers, Father Deacon, and, and everyone who's gathered here today. I thank you for this honor to lead this toast uh, for our missionary sisters. And one thing I have to say is that oftentimes sisters often get a kind of a bit of a negative rap because they have that stern look about them. And I want to say that I'm thankful for that because the discipline that sisters gave me when I was a young child was a motherly discipline. It was a motherly discipline that can be summed up in a, in a, in a saying that Father Mirachuk had once told me. And it goes like this. There once was a young man who was at home, and his mother came up to him and said, Petro, time to go to church, time to go to church. Petro just let his head hang down, and he said, Mom, I don't want to go to church. Everyone there hates me. They don't like me. I just don't want to go. His mother said, Petro, you need to get to church now. And she gave him a very stern look. Petro started to get up and get out the door. And he looked at his mother and said, why must I go to the church? And his mother looked at back at Petro and said, well, first of all, the church is next door. And two, you're the pastor. <laughs> and so with this sort of motherly discipline, I want to lift this uh, in the class and toast to Mother Gavinia and all the missionary sisters for all the good works uh, that you do for us, for all, all of, uh, for all the years that you've provided that motherly discipline and any other blessings for us. And so we ask Almighty God to bless you, and with this toast, may uh, you always uh, have uh, many happy and glorious years. God bless all.
they were founded on October 1st, 15 years ago. October 1st for us, the Ukrainian Catholics and Eastern Christians, is the holy day of Pogro. And the sisters are named under the protection of the Mother of God, Pogro the Patriarch. How fitting. Who 
in their own special way want to present to your sisters and in a very special way to simply say two special words, thank you, by giving you this presentation of love. Lots of hugs and kisses. You guys can give them hugs and kisses, come on.